1 million subs before 2020 May ends and one lucky subscriber with a plus one will get a free trip to this year's second major. But now just make the same face you see in the title because I went through lots of demos and tried to find some interesting small details from pro players that are new to you. Firstly, who else than simple, no certain lineups, just a very effective feeling made to short. You can see it from enemy team HPs, they surely enjoyed it. When bouncing your nades off from this wall corner, it's also harder to see them coming and they explode right in the sweet spot. Go ahead, practice a bit, if you don't feel confident straight away. Comparing to its alternatives, especially the skyscraper throw, it's the best possible way to nade short. Or why not even Molotov short, choice is yours, but isn't it ironic that right now the best CSGO player's name is Simple. Wonder if Messi's name was Simple, it adds extra depth to it. Next up, Apex on Nuke. Firstly, he's ready to do a supportive flash for shocks at outside, but as he is a main player, he's very aware of the deep smoke wall that some teams like to use instead of the default smoke wall. And this is exactly what FaZe Clan is up to. When he hears the first audio cues, he throws a very right Molotov to ruin one of the smokes and to achieve a great gap to potentially frag enemies. In this round, no frags, just information gathered that no one went through and they can adjust their defensive lines according to the info. CSGO, the best info game out on the market market in 2020. Overpass, nothing special, but I noticed that Sanji really likes to use this off-angle spot a lot, usually with a plenty of success. In this weird MP9 round as well, around 140 damage dealt plus bomb spotted in kinda late round situation. Not too bad, as I said, nothing game breaking, people have been using this spot for ages, but it's interesting that he likes to use it regularly with a fair amount of success. I guess it works well for him, because people at the high level are always worried about the boost position. Next up train, we are looking at Kenny's POV, the guy who smokes a lot, sadly outside of the game, still very often he has something to show to us, especially when he has the big zoom gun in his hands. In this round he wallbangs like it's nothing, the first lineup is pretty common, but the second loosey goosey one is pretty rare line. Now let's turn on the wall hack so you can actually see the connections. I have no idea why you couldn't see the second model getting hit, just little wall hack issues, but from this angle you can see that I didn't lie. Virtual blood on the walls. And the second loosey goosey shot towards e box was a dink to Prolan, plus resulted in 72 HP loss. This start of the round makes every pop dog defender do the joy jump. Super general. On a high level most of the teams have and should have CT side mid aggression moves to again gather important information that helps you a lot closer towards the round win. And the following smoke from Stanislav is part of it, he lines himself up according to this small pit wall, stays crouched, aims like shown and left click throws the smoke. It will fly higher than Wiz Khalifa, then do some bounces and block off top middle. They add a molotov and a flash to make enemy team feel their presence plus make them think they went aggressive towards middle, but in this case they didn't get aggressive, just mind games and all that made heroic fall back from top mid, fall back from A to finally pick the B bomb site. This is how it goes. This is surely a very random coincidence that the next clip represents the same idea. Mid round top mid aggression by Fnatic and we are in Prolon's POV. He gets stuck into this corner, aims in between those two white electric post thingies. When it's the right time then jump throws. This is a smoke for top mid and he follows it up with a lined up flash. After the grenade that makes everyone white, Crims from short and JW from long will then peek middle to get the info. And as they see no one there, it's kinda late round, JW will be moving closer to B. By the way, that's not all, as Brolan throws an easy but effective molotov to A apps. Hack the haystacks, aim around in the middle of the fences, depends on your exact positioning, angles can vary, the main idea is to bounce it off from app ceiling, so the result will burn deep into A apps as well as the close corners. Maximum effectiveness right here ladies and gentlemen, use it well. I don't know that much about Vertigo myself and I don't know if this smoke is the general default, but it's default for Hunter. He runs towards A side, picks the right side here, aims above the metal post he barely sees, but the top of the post will be your indicator and then he runs throws the smoke. It will bounce off from the post and land down there to block off the IV area entrance. As he plays in this area, the smoke helps him to avoid quick T side pushes or at least give him an advantage in those quick attempts by enemy side. Would be nice if your teammate smokes ramp or at least covers it, but it's 
literally a helpful smoke even if you play fully solo here, simple as that. Next up Mirage and who else than Cold Sarah. Just a small little detail that's not that common. More often I see people boosting on the box or right behind it, but here all of Meister will boost Cold behind the wall. Still close enough to boxes to quick pick chair area. In this round no one is there, we all would love to see this duel as Cold could actually get the first contact, then go find cover behind the wall plus then quickly peek out again. The position also makes them both less prone to flashes and if someone would be pushing short, depending on exact angles you could potentially see some of their hair. Coolio as that. All right, does two and satisfaction wandering around in short, plus holding a flash to help Azure in long if it's needed. Seems like in this case they save a flash, and it's not a bad idea at all. It is possible to flash like that, but I really doubt in the effectiveness. Extra situational stuff, although as Azure played in this blue box corner, the flash wouldn't do harm for him, but still, it's hard to hit the jackpot with this one and fully blind your enemies. If you still decide to do that, I would suggest you to try to bounce it off from the skybox, as it lowers the chance to pop way over enemies heads. We're gonna continue from Nuke and with an idea from Frozen. Bomb gets planted onto B bomb site, they take their time, Frozen is worried that someone may be above him and this is how you can use your nades to distract a possible enemy there. A nice simple bounce off from the rocket thingy itself, in this case no one was there but if someone would be there it's very hard to do anything against this nade because you just can't see it coming. A sneaky nade to a sneaky position that enemies might want to be in because you can jiggle and guard ramp from this angle, why not? Next up Mirage, and it's not that much about a certain trick, it's just an interesting approach I saw from Vitality's game against FaZe Clan. In the pistol rounds, some teams like to build tanks. It means one player buys armor and the other player drops him a better weapon than default USB or on T-side clock. It's especially powerful on T-side because USB is naturally overclocked. Vitality builds tank as well, but they picked RPK as a tank, he bought armor and Alex dropped him P250. Now it caught my eye because RPK is not that much of a star aimer and the momentum certainly wasn't tear as well as in the first half he got only two frags so my curiosity was already out of the ceiling why not Saivu instead of rpk and what's the goal in this round they went for a b split alex and rpk to the middle you don't really want to send your solo clock out first in the middle so it makes sense that you upgrade his weapon and it seems like rpk was sent in first to scout middle slash get info and deal certain damage as you can see his crosshair is really looking for the body shots instead of clear headshots alex supports him with nades from a distance while rpk goes in also, when he would die, he gets the info, B apps guys could explode to the site or vice versa, fall back and Alex could potentially take the same route slash pick up the weapon. But it's not that important, especially when they already get so far on to B, RPK does 50% of the frags he did in the first half with this entry and they have B bomb site almost for free. Overall, a great pistol round call, pretty much anti for phases defense, plus nice tank move. Overpass, OG people have seen it once about a year ago, but this time the sneaky angle is also in action, doing flawless work. Let's have a look at Stanislav's POV, utility is nice, aggression is not bad, but he wasn't ready for this angle. Also it's one of those angles that even when you know it, even if you're focused and ready, it's hard to do anything against it. 5 vs 4 it is. Tizian's POV on Nuke. Firstly, as he is running out from spawn, appreciate my effort browsing all those demos for you and value it with a simple click on the like button. When he gets to heaven, he mollies hot roof, so burning would make extra noise and Kito could push Thor with not that much attention on him. He doubts at first, but then goes in with a great timing. Believe it or not, three enemies, no one looking at the door, although he had to open it. Would be nice if he had gotten more than one frag, but the round overall worked out nicely for them, TZN went for the aggro move as well, and after all he ended his journey with stylish wallbang attempts. If you wonder then yeah, it nicely works with AK for both ways. Feel free to collect some wallbang frags. The same map once again and Mertz, T-Roof, of course make sure the class is broken, hug this corner, Aim like shown, and if you're ready to execute, then jump throw. This molly will bounce off from the window and land behind the side, making it awkward for CTs to defend A. In this example as well, Tizian has to reposition, they get him down, but sadly for them, that's all they did in this round. Still, this Molotov could come handy in your future new games. Enjoy! 
Next up, Overpass, and I believe I have seen this Molotov thrown by Astralis players too, but since I didn't record it then, now I saw it from Chavi's POV. Unfortunately, he failed it, but the idea itself is golden. He just lacked a bit of distance over here, no lineup needed, just be a bit closer, run throw, and bounce your Molotov off from the wall. It will land on the dumpster stairs, delaying enemies' rotations to come in. Easy to throw since you don't have to remember Hanyanyanye lineup. Also, if you're running out of time, you can use the same idea to throw a quick dumpster smoke. It may not be perfect, but it's quick, and you can just flex off your different ways how you treat your grenade. You may impress the love of your life, never know. Sports cars are history, guys. Nade lineups are the new real value. Plus 2 plus an interesting Molotov from Queenix in their 4 slash eco round. Firstly, let's just watch it. He throws this molly to ruin possible long corner smoke. Now why he bounces it off from the post is the fact that he doesn't want to expose himself to longhouse guys as this may get him easily out from the round. But my question is, there are different ways how you can burn even larger area on the ground. I have no idea why he wanted to necessarily molly roof. Is there a specific long smoke that bounces on the roof maybe? If you can help me out with the exact thought process behind this move, let me know in the comment section because there are way easier ways to effectively molotov ground than the post bounce. This is the first time I'm asking your thoughts like that, but there's enough of a mystery to resolve it together. Nuke and Chabby with an alternative heaven smoke lineup that works when classes are not broken. Position yourself on this pole, aim like shown, and if you're ready then jump throw. It will squeeze itself through the windows, bounce a bit, and finally pop at the heaven. As they say, all good smokes end up in heaven. We're gonna continue on the same map, S tag once again in the action, I'm not gonna pause it, pause it yourself if you want to mimic the lineup, it's a smoke plus flash move in their low buy round. Firstly deep smoke to close radio room, and then this amazing lineup to set up your teammate. It wasn't a bad try, Zerk was just one step ahead of them, playing anti-flash in the corner. What can I say, longer video than usual, because some people still think that size matters, and yours will definitely look bigger when you subscribe. <laughs> 